Dear friends, let's continue preludes by T.S. Eliot. In the first video on this very particular poem, I had covered the first prelude. You know that preludes is actually a combination of four separate poems that Eliot wrote in between 19. 10, 19, 9, 19, from 1999 to 1911 around. So in the first video, we, I had covered the first prelude. Now let's look at the second prelude and understand it. In the first prelude, generally, he talks about a particular street of London and try and tries to highlight the ugliness of that street and by highlighting the ugliness of that street actually he tries to highlight the ugliness of the modern man what immoral kind of life man in 20th century was living and to some extent, it was all because of industrialization. That industrialized world was absolutely different from that world, from that country in the 19th century, 18th century. So in the first prelude, he highlights the ugliness of metropolis, ugliness of the metropolitan city that is London. And the corrupt lifestyle of the people. Now let's look at the second part. Second part, second prelude is all about the morning. With, and we look at this second part with the hope that definitely the morning will bring some positive change. In the attitude in the scene and scenario but to our surprise the morning does not bring any change at all does not bring any positive change but instead it highlights more the after effect of that evening evening that was spent in drinking, babbling, and doing all immoral kind of acts. So now let's look at the second prelude. The morning comes to consciousness. See, the morning comes to consciousness. Consciousness, awareness. See how the morning is personified. See, the morning comes to consciousness, comes to a kind of awareness or awareness but the modern man was not aware at all the modern man did not come out of that that hangover that after effect of that drinking that immoral act he was indulged in or he indulged in the previous night so no change but instead now the morning worsens this situation why because there is there is the stench or stink of this stench 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 or the stink of that stale beer that was consumed the previous night the smell of the beer is all about in the atmosphere in the morning time see that of faint stale smells of beer so morning has come to consciousness but the man man has not regained his consciousness man is still under the impact of the liquor under the influence of the liquor still there is a hangover still the man has not 
still the man is under that impact of the liquor still the man has failed to regain his consciousness and there is a smell of what smell of the stale beer the beer that was consumed in the previous night though so he gives a peep of that immoral that routine life the modern man led in the first half or you could say in the first decade of the 20th century why because Eliot I told you wrote these prelude these poems in between 1909 to 1911 while he was at Harvard as a student so see from the sawdust trampled street and see how was the street the previous evening it was rained not it was rained actually it rained the previous evening and that rain had worsened the worsened the ugliness of that very particular street of London and it was all because of that in order to hide the ugliness in order to hide the mud or cover the mud what was sprinkled in the morning sawdust that powdery just uh, you can say part of the part of the timber or the wood that comes that comes when a carpenter works when a carpenter just smoothens smoothens the wood uses uses the chisel and uses the saw and uses so many other tools then what comes 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 out soft powdery just part of the wood comes and that powdery just you see this uh, part of the wood is used to cover the cover the mud and cover the ugliness of the street of London but but is it possible to cover the ugliness sometime we wear just you see makeup to cover our ugliness but sometime we fail to cover and instead of covering what happened we make our look more hideous we become more ugly same here has happened sawdust is used particularly to cover the mud of the street of London but instead of covering it hiding it it has made the scene and scenario worse you can say that it looks it becomes all the more dirty all the more ugly instead of hiding the ugliness it has worsen the condition of the street of London because of because of the rapid rapid movement of the thousand and lakhs of feet of the people to who are to there who are early in the morning who are early who in early in the morning going to their offices going to their factories going to their just a different kind of business establishment and see how man has become fragmented how here man is represented represented using different using his different body parts that show the fragmentation of the modern man that fragmented personality of the modern man how modern man was fragmented in the early 20th century see from the sawdust trampled street with all its muddy feet that press muddy feet see how 
the just how the man reduced only to feet means here see nowhere we see eliot just speaking humans speaking man in his whole in his whole body sense somewhere he uses hands somewhere he uses feet even in the first part first prelude he also uses the uses the feet again he uses the feet later we see he uses the hat means he shows the fragmentation of the man of the 20th century how he was fragmented how even everything was fragmented everything had lost what it's it's that integrity that connection everything was broken into pieces and so how here body parts are used particularly for giving a reference of the human not the whole body so see how with all its muddy feet that press too early coffee stands so see how as soon as the morning comes people are still in hangover hangover has yet not gone the after effect of the liquor of the drinking is still there but see how just modern men are typed over typed in their routine action routine activity and that routine activity had led to a kind of a boredom led to a kind of a frustration led to a kind of that connection led to a kind of that you see this uh, that communication that that communication gap people had people did not have time to sit together and to have words together and that led to a what that led to create a kind of a vacuum between man to man between and among people and that vacuum that fragmentation that lack of communication all ts elliot here with all its vividness what this vividness shows so see so how people just in the 20th century early 20th century just were leading a mechanical life you know mechanical life absolutely just like the machines do work and function in the same manner people in the early 20th century were functioning working they had lost their human qualities that that communication that understanding that cooperation all that all that all those qualities that make a human that make a person human or that make one human were all most absent that he showed so that how early in the morning man does not morning comes to its consciousness but the human does not come to his own consciousness and just like a machine just like a robot gets up does all the routine he does every day and st starts straight way for his for his or her offices business establishments this and that and it's all because of to some extent his loss of faith in religion his his just uh, his given his heart and soul to what to to industrialization to material possession with the other masquerades that time resumes so see how 
how here he just says that how modern man had become hypocrite hypocrisy was hypocrisy had become almost everything for the 20th for the 20th century people means masquerade see this masquerade trope plays a very important role in the later year poems of T.S. Eliot how this just a masquerade trope develops in his later poems like the hollow man then even in you see this yes in the hollow man he says that now they just want to wear the just wear the just a skin of the rat wear the just uh, wear the just guise of the scarecrow why in order to hide the real identity see P Eliot had noticed people in the early 20th century hiding their real identity impersonating somebody else's personality how he had seen people assuming different guises in order to hide the real identity and why do we try to hide a real identity either we think that a real identity is not worth presentable is not worth is not worth revealing or we are not fit enough we are not good looking sometimes we think that we are not just like you see this uh, a profrock tries to hide his real identity why because he thinks that he is not fit he does not have the pleasing personality for that lady he is in love with so somehow down the line here eliot wants to show that hypocrisy of the modern man how one man assumed a different kind of personality in one day in his office he was a different man in his home he was a different man and in a party he was a different man so one man in a day assume different kind of guises only to hide the real real identity or real self or the real face just like people in a formal dance party is a kind of a dance party there we see couple dancing with the mask on their own faces and what do they do by using that mask they go on changing their dance partners same was the case there with the people in the early 20th century so with the change of the time they change their mask they change their role they change their guise their their just uh, you can say identity and personality only to hide their real identity and their real personality that he said with the other masquerades i told you this that time resumes one thinks of all the hands that are raising dingy shades in a thousand furnished rooms so see Yeah, Eliot wants to show us that how modern man was living a life of a living a routine life, living a robotic kind of life, mechanical life, and one man assumed different guises. In the at his workplace, he was a different man. at his home he was absolutely different from his workplace and in the party absolutely different for what 
only for hiding the real identity so he says one thinks of all the hands so one man thinks of all the hands hands here again stands for the humans people again cynic ducky cynic ducky here part for the whole whole for the part again here one thinks of all the hands that are raising raising dingy shades in the first part probably he talks about a certain kind of a window with the slit here he talks about the dingy means dirty shades again the blinds or the cover or the curtain we use just a, we used to we used at we used to just to cover the window or the doorway so how what a routine kind of life these people just a had or people had in the 20th century in this city that life was absolutely different in the countryside people had their own individuality people were people were you can say aware of their individuality but that individuality was individuality was somewhere lost in the city life how mechanical life had become in this city people led a kind of a tied life in the city generally even see how relevant <coughs> my bad how relevant it is eliot wrote this poem in 1909 1910 11 and even to the how relevant how what a routine kind of life we will we will we we'll lead even today how people in the just a cities wake up at, wake up at a certain time those people living in a kind of a society generally the waking time is almost the same just a uh, sleeping time is almost the sleep time of taking breakfast is almost the same time of starting for the offices and school almost the same almost everything people living in those societies in the city in the early 20th century had a very routine and fixed kind of lifestyle their routine activities were absolutely fixed generally almost all the people woke up at the same time raise the shades from their window at the same time looked out of the window at the same time leaning against the rail of their balcony at the same time eating and drinking at the same time and that routine that mechanical life led to a kind of a boredom and that led to the loss of their individuality their personality that eliot actually described that how at one time all the hands means see this that again fragmentation that all the hands all the people were seen raising raising that curtain setting aside the blinds means curtains from the window at the same time all started for the offices at the same time started for the outing at the same time started for the party at the same time that routine that fixed kind of routine that mechanical life eliot here describes that was somewhere missing in the early to early 19th century 18th century life was absolutely different so dear friends i hope the second prelude would be absolutely clear to you you may have no doubt left regarding the second prelude but if you have any doubt 
if any line is not clear to you do let me know i'll try my best to clear your doubts